Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 42. In this video, we will discuss how to use the software application called Sudoku Joy on your iPhone. Sudoku Joy is a free software application. Use your iPhone's App Store to search and download Sudoku Joy. Here is what the Sudoku Joy application icon looks like on your iPhone's home screen. Touch the icon to launch the application. After you launch the application, here is the Sudoku Joy's main menu screen. We are going to review each of these menu tabs. We begin by looking at what happens when you touch all of today's game's menu tab. Here is all of today's game application page with a new set of menu tabs. As the name implies, this menu provides a list of today's gaming choices. This menu page is no different than the All Difficulties page we will soon discuss in more detail. You can use this page or the All Difficulties page to begin a new puzzle. We have spray painted the advertisements out of our screenshot. We all get enough advertising so there's no need to see more on our screenshots. We touch the Cancel menu tab in the lower right to return back to the main menu. Next we are going to touch the All Difficulties menu tab. Here is the All Difficulties menu page. If you are just starting out, you can click on the first through third lesson tabs to learn about the basic Sudoku puzzle solving techniques. To start a new Sudoku game, we touch one of the menu tabs, selecting our level of difficulty. We will explain the levels of difficulty shortly. For now, we touch the Difficult menu tab to start a new puzzle with a level of difficult. Here is the puzzle page. When you touch one of the nine number buttons at the bottom, it highlights all the cells having a number as a given or a value. We have touched the one button. We are now seeing all the cells having a value of 1. At this point, if we touch one of the cells in the puzzle, it will set the cell in the puzzle to a value of 1. We touch the cell row 1, 3, and it is now set to a value of 1 as shown. If we click on the hint command, we see the following menu. Here is a list of hint commands you can choose from. Show solution is not very useful because there's no point in seeing the solution. Solve one cell defeats the purpose of having a difficulty level. Check entries is very useful. We will use the check entries menu tab shortly, but first let's finish talking about the hint commands. Undo until solvable is very useful for when you make a mistake and discover it several moves later. The fill pencil marks is also very useful and we will demonstrate this one shortly. The hint command is very useful and has two levels which we will demonstrate shortly. At this time we touch the check entries menu tab. As you can see, we have made a bad guess. In general, you should never make a guess when solving a Sudoku puzzle. Your decision to choose a value for a cell should always be based on logic and reason. Touching the More menu tab will clear the errant value. Done and Back will return you back to the normal puzzle solving page. We touch the More menu tab to clear out the bad value, and then we touch the Back menu tab to return to the puzzle solving page. We could have used the undo button to undo the bad number. Either way will work. Next we click on the hit button again. This time we select the fill in pencil marks command. Each cell's possible candidates are filled out with tiny numbers. Since we already had the one button selected, all the cells having a possible one candidate are highlighted in light red. Showing cells highlighted for a certain candidate with a background color is particularly useful when we are trying to find more advanced puzzle solving patterns. We touch the 4 button so all the cells having a 4 for a given or a value are now highlighted in yellow and any cell with a possible 4 candidate is now highlighted with light red. We select the pencil button now highlighted in green. This puts the app into pencil mark editing mode. Now when we touch a cell, the tiny number is either added or removed. We touch the cell 8,9 and the possible 4 candidate is removed from the cell which is no longer highlighted in red. We touch the undo button and it restores the pencil mark as shown. Say we are working on solving a puzzle and we become really stuck. We touch the Hint button and it pulls up the Hint menu. This time we touch the Hint menu tab. The app tells us there's something going on with the possible 6 candidate. We then touch the More button. The app now tells us there's a hidden single. 
but then it also tells us where the hidden single is located. I think this is too far. I like the way the program Hadoku does its vague hint command. For the program Hadoku, all the program tells you for the vague hint is hidden single is the next puzzle solving technique to use. With Hadoku, you still have to find it. The way Sudoku Joy does the hint is not my favorite. You still will learn and improve your skills with Sudoku Joy's way of doing a hint, but it's not as an effective tool as the way Hadoku does it. We touch the dumb button and we return to the main puzzle page. We select the 6 as the highlighted number. We immediately see a hidden single in the house making up row 3. We touch cell 3, 5 and it sets the value to 6 as shown. Next we are going to save the game. We touch the menu button. The menu button menu pops up. We have a number of choices to choose from. For now we are just going to touch save game and exit. The save game and exit display shows up. We pick the first slot to save our current game. We return back to the application main menu page. To return back to our game, we touch on the save games menu tab. This brings us to the saved games display page. To return back to our game, we click on the same tab we saved it in. But for now, we click on the cancel tab to return back to the main menu. At this point, we want to return back to discussing the All Difficulties menu tab. Here is the All Difficulties page. We are now going to show you for each choice what puzzle solving techniques you will need to know. Here is a list of Sudoku puzzle solving techniques you will need to know by difficulty level. We return back to the main menu. The Another Menu tab will allow you to play another game of the last difficulty you played. The wildcard games and the style of play menu tabs you can explore on your own. What you like to choose is something you will have to determine on your own. The next feature is probably the coolest feature the Sudoku Joy program has to offer. The Scan from Camera menu tab allows you to get your puzzle givens from a camera taking a picture of a puzzle. We touch the Scan from Camera menu tab. I currently have Hadoku running on my computer screen. I create a puzzle in medium mode. The Sudoku Joy puts the phone in camera mode. I take a picture. Sudoku Joy is now showing the photo. I touch the Use Photo menu tab in the lower right. Sudoku Joy is now showing its import page. We touch on the play button in the upper right. As you can see, Sudoku Joy has perfectly scanned our puzzle and we can start solving it. We touch the menu tab and we return back to the main menu. Next we are going to explore the Sudoku Joy learning pages. We touch the learn button at the bottom. We are now showing the Sudoku Joy's learn page menu tabs. You can read the welcome and getting started pages on your own. We are going to touch the enjoying Sudoku menu tab. We are now seeing a list of Sudoku puzzle solving techniques we can start learning about. We select the bug plus one menu tab. This brings us to the Bug Plus One learning pages. We can keep touching the More button to see several more pages of information. We touch the Done button. This gives us a pop-up menu. The buttons are mostly self-explanatory, but let's concentrate on the Example menu tab. Sudoku Joy generates an example where the next technique to use is a Bug Plus One. This is very helpful in teaching you how to spot a technique in a puzzle. We touch the More button. This gives us more information. We touch on the More button again. Doku Joy is now showing us the answer. We touch the Done button. We return back to the main learning menu. This time we touch Advanced Techniques. Here is the list of advanced techniques you can get Sudoku Joy training on. We return back to the main menu. The Enter Puzzle menu tab brings you to a page where you can manually enter your own givens. The From Photo Library menu tab brings you to a page where you can select an existing photo of a puzzle to scan for givens. This is similar to the way the scan from camera works. You can explore the statistics, settings, and feedback buttons on your own. This completes DXodoku training video number 42. Please support DXodoku. Thank you for watching.